welcome to God's Word for us that come. Ghana's online Christian station. Be blessed as you listen to messages on the site. Book of Acts, chapter 8. This was when there was a great persecution amongst the church, and they had uh, they had uh, stoned Stephen to death and uh, the church has scattered. And the Bible said that in, uh, in the verse 4 of chapter number 8, therefore they that were scattered abroad, the disciples, went everywhere preaching the word. The persecution that hit the church scattered them and they went everywhere preaching the word then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them and the people with one accord give heed unto those things which Philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles which he did for unclean spirits crying out with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies and that were lame were healed and there was great joy in the city say amen you know when they said there was a great joy in that city i can really 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 uh, understand it because if you are somebody who is very involved in evangelistic campaigns across the cities, across the nations, and across our towns and villages, you will experience this joy. Because as soon as you go to the city and the message is preached, many are healed, many are saved, and then we go into social action. Uh, we, we, there's med free medical, there's free clothing, mattresses and things. You see that the whole town, the media, everywhere, you sense a great joy in the city. Say amen. Because it is like Jesus has visited the town. Not only has he visited the town, his, our presence has impacted the lives of the people. People are healed, people are saved, and then uh, uh, because we send a lot of medical team, uh, many are see doctors, some see nurses, their eyes... Uh, we have a lot of surgeons who come around and they stay the whole week taking out spleens, taking out goiters, hernias, fibroids, and so many things. And you see that the whole town is filled with joy. Say amen. And, 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 and beloved, that is the reason of the existence of the church. That is why Jesus called us to impact the lives of people. So Philip alone went to Samaria. Alone, not with a team, not with tracks, not with a choir, but alone and brought great joy to that city. See, I hear you, Pastor. Then the Bible says something. I want you to drop down to verse number 26. The verse 26. And the angel of the Lord, this was after the revival and the things were happening, there was great joy. The Bible said, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise. And go towards the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. In fact, we've seen this. Those of us who went to uh, Israel, we saw Jerusalem, we saw Gaza. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority on the Cadence, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure. And had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran hither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? In other words, are you understanding what you are reading? 
And he said, how can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamp, dumb before his sharing, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life, for his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? And the eunuch answered Philip and said, Of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went down on that way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And commanded the chariots to stand still. And they went down both onto the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. Then the eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing through, he preached in all the cities. Till he came to Caesarea. Hallelujah. I think the scriptures that I've read is very clear and self explanatory. But the point that I want to make is in verse 29, which is the theme or the title of my message. He said, The spirit, the angel said to Philip, Go near, join thyself to this chariot. Say amen. So I'm telling my message, join this chariot. Hallelujah. Are you here with me? Join this chariot. The spirit said to Philip, you have finished a great revival. Things are happening. But there is a man traveling from Jerusalem to Gaza. So the Bible said Philip went on that road as led by the spirit of God and this eunuch who had come to Jerusalem to worship was now traveling from Jerusalem to Gaza and the Bible described as a very very important person a man who was a great treasurer a very important person. and he was reading scriptures he was reading the scroll he was reading the prophecy of Isaiah but revelation hadn't come at that time for him to understand what has happened. He just was a very good man who wants to worship God. And he was reading the prophecy of Isaiah. I think he was reading Isaiah 53. He was reading it. And when the Lord, when the Lord saw that the man was attempting to find him, he spoke to Philip. Join this chariot. And immediately he went near the chariot and said to the man, Do you understand what you are reading? Say amen. Can you understand the scriptures you are reading? Then he replied, How can I except someone guides me or teaches me? Say amen. And brother, The Yunus case is very, very simple. And it's very, very normal. People are reading things they don't understand. People are hearing things they don't understand. Even those of us who are in church receiving messages every day, still there are portions of the Bible you don't understand. 
with all the internet hearing messages and things still there are areas of scriptures you are not familiar with so you can imagine people who are far away in our rural communities who don't have access to the kind of books and teachings and the revelations that you have here you can see the gross darkness and the gross ignorance that has plagued our people in our villages and our towns am i talking to somebody here he was an knowledgeable and learned person still he couldn't understand what he was reading he was not a villager he was not uneducated he was a very important man really he was desiring to find god but he needed someone to guide him he needed someone to teach him he needed someone to bring him illumination to bring him understanding as you are sitting here the kind of revelations you have received from this pulpit still when we ask you certain questions you may have problems say amen so philip joined the chariot and then he began to teach him from the same scripture he preached jesus christ to him and he taught him we are not we are not told the depth of the revelation that philip are taught but he explained three major things the reason why christ came the reason why he died and the reason why he resurrected that is that is the message of the gospel why did christ came why did he come why was he born what was the purpose of christ on the earth what work did he accomplish for mankind how did he deal with the sin question how did he deal with our fears what power did he entrust to the church as you are here you know it but there is somebody somewhere who doesn't know it that is why we have to join this chariot and bring revelation and illumination to somebody who doesn't know yes The reason why you are not clapping is because it's, it's not a revelation to you. Yeah, because it's, because it's, like, it's like, what have you said? You have said nothing. It's because you already know. Yes. The reason why you are not excited is because you are looking for more revelations. <laughs> because you, are, like you have heard it. Ah. So say something new. There is nothing new. There is nothing new. It is the old gospel. Christ came. To save mankind he died and he rose again and gave authority and power to the church that we should go out there the bible describes us as the light of the world and a light must not be put under a bushel but it must be set on the hill in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 4 is that where it is matthew 5 4 Ye are the light. Is it 5 4? Yeah. Okay. Matthew 5 13 40. Put it there. Matthew 5 13 40. Look at what the Bible says. Ye are the Lord. Look at the, Let's go for 14. 14. Matthew 5 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light, let your light so shine before men. That they may what? See your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Say amen. That means that if you have light, you must carry that light to where there is darkness. That they may what? See your good works and when they see your good works then they will glorify the father which is in heaven do i have a witness here so it doesn't please god when we are always in our churches happy singing worshiping 
and there is a lot of light. There is physical light, spiritual light, and what? Artificial light. A lot of lights in the house. When there are other parts of our world where there is gross darkness. See, I hear you, my pastor. So, moving out is to carry our candle, our light, illumination to where there is darkness. God does not find pleasure in our beautiful air-conditioned churches with our beautiful cars parked, wearing our beautiful suits Sunday after Sunday and after Sunday and after Sunday. It doesn't move God. There's nothing very nice. That, oh, I'm so happy with you, people, the way you dress. Hello, hello, send, 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 MPP and this, it doesn't move God at all. When he sees a lot of darkness in some parts of our world, People who are lost. People who don't have illumination. So anytime you have an opportunity to go out to where the sinners are, to people who don't understand scriptures, to show good ways, God is show, giving us an opportunity to do his work and his will. There, there is somebody who does a lot of good programs in our city. And I was telling somebody that this is a very, very good program. It is well attended. It's been on and on and on and on. But this program, though, it is now becoming too much. And I was telling him that he must carry this program to where people really need it. Say amen. People need love. People need interventions people need help people need there are people who will die if we do not appear there yes there are people who have who we came into contact with whom we have brought from interland who have stood on this pulpit time after time who have testified that until we came there they didn't have a solution to their problems. They were brought here. They were taken to hospitals. They were there for months. There are people still with us till today in surgery, waiting. If it hadn't been for the light that went there, they would have perished in their sins. And we are here always enjoying singing, worshiping, smelling well, looking well, driving well. Eating well, it's saying, it's saying, it's saying, it's saying, it's saying, it's saying. Yeah. One day, we went somewhere and our heart was broken. We went to preach, I don't know where, I think Bole. When we went there, it was a very dark place, spiritually. They brought people from Tenga, Shola. Uh, name the places don't want so many many places they came in trucks they remote villages there are no access road and they all came to the city of Bali we flew our medical team from Accra to Wa we recovered them from Wa and it, we drove them from Wa to Bali one hour 15 minutes and there were thousands of people at the crusade and when we had finished preaching and we had finished sharing food, like the Bible said, give food to the hungry, clothing to the naked. When we were sick, you took care of When you are finished doing that, a family of four, mother and four children, they didn't hear, they can't read, they can't hear. I think there was no wireless or radio or whatever. They didn't hear, they, they got to hear it late. When they came to the ground, everything was over. Then she and the children, they came and they saw a lot of rice on the ground. Because we were sharing the rice, some got broken, some were on the ground. So they came and then they started collecting the sand and the rest of the rice. They were collecting the, the sand and the rice all together. So we came and met them. So what are you doing? 
So we are telling them, I feel by Bibia Santi, a sister, a moon, and a moment, and a coffee, and a moon, if you move anymore. We were moved. We asked them to stop it immediately. Don't collect it, they put everything on the ground. There were some food items they have left for the chief as a gift. I said, Bring the chief's food. The chief has the money. He can go and buy his own food. We had reserved some food. They say it's for the chief so that we go and say thank you to him. I said, Bring that food that is going to give. Bring it from the truck. They say it's for the. For the I, tell, I, tell, I said, Open that truck and bring that food out. So they opened and he brought the food bucket, soap, cutlass, lanterns, and everything. Then we gathered them. It was a portion. Then we gathered everything. Then we gave it to the woman. When the woman, when they brought it to the woman, the woman broke down and started crying. He said, Nobody has ever given her any gift since she was born. The father has run away and left them with the four children. She saw the rice, sugar, gary, bean soap, bucket. He was standing there, stupefied. And started crying with her children. That act, that action that we took for that woman will forever remain with her. Will forever remain with her. And there are so many stories, countless stories I can tell you of our visitation to rural communities. And the help, the light, the illumination that it has brought to many. Say amen. So this is one thing we will never stop doing. This is one act which is the heart of God. And now we are moving to Tamale. The Tamale town itself is a very, very beautiful town. Those of you come from the north. You are blessed to have Tamale. Everything is there. It's a very nice. It's one of the most expensive towns. The code dollars in Tamale. Hotels and things are in dollars in Tamale. A lot of NGOs and things. It is not the Tamale. Tamale itself is surrounded by about 255 villages. That is where our concern is. So we are pitching our tent in Tamale and we are bringing the villages from across from Bolga downwards to Waliwal and all the hamlets and the villages. Some of the villages, their names are not even on the map. You cannot, when they mention their name, the name of the town, you can't find it on the map. But they are there. Recently, recently, uh, Joy, Joy, news made a joint documentary we do a lot of this live documentary and they made a documentary and they spoke about situations about the water shortages in some parts of the north and they showed how women sometimes walk for four miles to a place like a river and the river is i'm not sure if you saw it brown brown and cows and animals are drinking from it. And that is the water they are fetching on the bucket. And walk four miles back. Miles. So we are believing God that as part of our 30th anniversary, we are drilling 30 boreholes in some parts of the north to mark our 30th anniversary. Thirty boreholes, and a company in this church said, "I will drill one borehole for five thousand Ghana cities." Yes, I'm telling you. I'm telling you because I want you to join this chariot. Join this chariot and move and do something that will impact humanity. As for us here, we don't have little numbers to give you. We don't have cement, all these things. We don't sell oil here. We don't have little numbers. We don't have. We don't. We don't. We can't see brazier. We can't see anything. Your pastor, I mean, I can I can see, but I can't see some things. I can see, but I can't see some things. We don't share things here. 
all that we know is to do what the Bible said. We should preach the gospel and people will respond to it and then we will carry help. We are taking light to where there is darkness that they may see the good works and not thank us but glorify the Father who is in heaven. We don't need thank, we don't need thank you for men at all. What we need is that they will glorify the Father who is in heaven. Say, I hear you, Pastor. So I am inviting you to join this chariot. The Bible said, and when, when he had sat on the chariot and had preached and preached, and they got to a point, the Bible said that you not answered. He made us, he said, he said, see. Here is water. What hinders me from being baptized now? Because what I have heard is too powerful. I can't wait to get to Ethiopia or go to a church to see a priest. Here, this is water. I want baptism now. The Bible said he commanded the chariot to stand still. Came out of the chariot, removed his clothes and everything. Went into the water and received baptism. It shows the impact of the message upon his life. Say amen. Anytime people hear the gospel, they respond to it. They give their lives. Sick people are healed. Say amen. amen. And there is action. And the Bible said, when he finished, the spirit of the Lord caught up with Philip and he vanished. And he appeared in Azotus. And he preached all the way to Caesarea. All the cities. It shows where the heart of God is. The heart of God is not in our beautiful auditoriums and, uh, you know, all this affluence and everything. God's heart is not there. His heart is where the people are. Look, as part of our 30th anniversary, 30 surgeons have decided to follow us to Tamale Hospital. And they will be there from Monday. The Monday that I could say is that the day I also started from Monday. From 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. And they will be removed. They will be doing free surgeries for people with goiters, hernias, splints. I was very impressed when, it, when I received that report. I said, Reverend, we are coming with you. 30 of us are coming from Monday to Saturday. Say amen. So while the crusade is on and we are preaching, they are also in the surgical block. Because not all men have faith. Say amen. And as for us, we don't care who you are, whether you are Muslim, whether you are, apart from all, atheist, whether you are Hindu, whether you are Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Hare, whether you are Buddhist, you are Ekanka. You are Baha'i, you are traditionalist, you are fetish priest, fetish priest, whatever you are, so long as you are a human being, help will come to you. Yes. So long as you are a human being, help will come to you. And the message of the love of Jesus will be preached. We have friends who are coming from around the world. I have a friend coming from France who will be joining us. He's got the biggest church in France. It's called Ivan Castano. Very, very ICC. Very, very, very great man of God. He'll be here. His picture is number one, two, three, four. They saw our video. They showed our video in his church whilst I was there. And people were crying when they saw our video. People were crying when they saw our video. When we closed the service, he came to me. He said, Reverend, this is 15,000 euros. For your crusade and day of help. Yes. He said, My wife and I, and some of my team members, we are coming to Ghana to come and join you to Tamale. I don't know where that is. He's a friend, but he comes, he's originally, he's originally from Congo. He's a Congolese who is based in France, doing great work. When he saw our videos, he said, I have never seen anything like this before. He saw the day of help. He said, I want to reproduce the day of help in Congo. I want to come and learn how you are doing it. It's coming from France. <laughs> Say amen. Oh, are you clapping or you're not clapping? <laughs> All 
these men, my friend, our friend, uh, Sanogo from Abidjan, came here, came and studied what we were doing. He has reproduced it in other Afri uh, Francophone countries. He is now a judge, one of the best men of God because he is doing day of help. He is doing all the things. He's coming to join us here. We are becoming a beacon of light to other nations. Our friend, Pastor Wale Olulana, you know very well, is in Nigeria doing the same thing we are doing here. Bishop Hutton Wood is coming. Fred Franco Fusuapia Tunji Akiola from Nigeria. He is telling me that Reverend since we joined Castle Rural World, every year, three times in Nigeria, in parts of the villages, we are reproducing the same. Yes. Yes. It means this is the main thing. This is the main thing. All other things, conventions and other things, we thank God for it. We thank God for conventions. We thank God for all those things. But this is the main thing. This is the real reason why the church exists. This project is going to cost us a lot of money. But we know our God will use you to supply our needs. Yes. It's a very huge project. It's one of, going to be one of our biggest projects. First of all, the distance. Second, the people. And then we are adding the day of help to it. Because it's not easy to do the day of help alone. We can't do the day of help alone and still do Tamale Christian. It will be too much for us. We are combining the two. And we say we have seen cripples, we have seen uh, disabled persons. You are about to see disabled people. We are about to see not the, the one independent square is a modified a glorified disability. Now we are about to see the real disabled people. Somebody come and say, Reverend, I hear that uh, Day of Help is coming to the north. I say, yeah, it's coming to the north because we already done some whatever. Then he said, Reverend, now before you are going to see the real disabled people. I said, why do you say that? I said, oh, Reverend, what we, we, what we saw at Independence Square, it is, a, it is a glorified disability. Now you are going to see real disabled people. And I told myself, Lord, have mercy. He said, Reverend, you will see things you haven't seen before. You will see human beings. You cannot believe they are human beings. I told them, we are ready for it. It's a challenge. It's a big mission. Sometimes when I'm lying down, I'm thinking about it. I told myself, who is sending me? <laughs> Why am I not sleeping like everybody else? <laughs> then I hear the Lord tell me, the zeal of the Lord shall accomplish it. The zeal of the Lord shall accomplish it. Do you want to think about the dimension of the program? This is scary. But God will do it. I said God will do it. So I want to encourage everybody. Join this chariot. Tell somebody, join this chariot. There are several ways you can join this chariot. You can join this chariot by physically going. That's one way to join the chariot. Physically. Buy your bus pass. Sit in the bus and travel 14 hours to Tamale. Yes. 14, 14 to, to 16 hours. Depending upon how many stops and, the, and, the, and the how fast we go. Get ready for long. But we have been to Tumu before. We have been to Borga. We have been to Wale. So what is Tamale? Is that it? Some of you, you haven't traveled beyond Kokomeble. It's, it's, it's a fact. Don't, 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 don't. You haven't traveled beyond Kokomeble. You haven't been anywhere. Apart from Ekomog, the farthest you have got is in Sawam or Accra Central. So for once, you know, pack your bags and join this chariot and travel. Not for holiday. I want to go and see how Tamale look like. No, no that, that's not the reason. But the real reason is to do the work of God. To help the helpless. To give food to the hungry. To clothe the naked. And to show the love of God. Say amen. Another way you can join this chariot is to send. Romans chapter 10. Reading from verse 14. 
He says, Romans 10, 14, he says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So, you may not physically go, but you are sending. You are sending us to go. That's, the way, that's another way to join this chariot. Sending us to go. Another way you can join this chariot is to go and look for help for us. Look for help. We need a lot of money. We need a lot of help. Somebody called me and I was starting to she called me to ask for myself and my wife, and we were chatting with them. And he said, Hey, now I said, Oh, we are preparing to go to Tamale. I said, Oh, and I made Bremo six bags of clothings that I have. Truly, the following day, she brought beautiful clothing, six bags of it. Say, Amen. Go and call friends, go from house to house, call some of your neighbors. Ghana must go. Go and look for clothing and, and pack it nicely. We don't want torn things. Please don't bring anything that is torn. If you bring torn things, we'll throw it away and burn it. These are human beings we are going to give it to. The Bible says, as much as you do it to the least of my brothers, you have done it on. So what you are going to give is unto Christ. Will you give torn things to Christ? So don't bring anything that is torn or spoiled or something a shoot and the, the new man buy now their bread. No, 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 please. I beg you. Don't do, when you do that, you have, ins, you have insulted Jesus Christ. Don't bring anything that is torn, spoiled. Look for, st- yeah, because God has prospered you. Your stomach has become big. You have English that you don't, the things now are uh, uh, call. <laughs> so bring them. I'm talking to myself too because I have a lot of things that I, when I look through, and I see my, I say, hey God, I need time to sort all these things out. And I'll do it for Tamale. I'll sort all my wardrobe and bring out all shoes. I have shoes, I have things that I have to bring out. I have to give you a lot away. More are there. So I'm talking to myself too. Say amen. So go and look for help. Take envelope. Go to your boss. There is day of help in Tamale. Help people. And collect money and bring it to us. That's another way of joining the child. You didn't go, but you took time to go and look for, for help for us. Say amen. Oh, are you there or not there? Yeah. Look for help. God will see your heart. Look for help. Say amen. Another way to join this chariot is that we are declaring 30 days of fasting and prayer. The whole month of October from the 1st to the 30th. We are fasting and praying every day. Join the fast and the prayers. Join because brother, we are, remember where we are going. We are going to the north. You don't go there to joke. It's not everybody who, 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 who will welcome us. Some people feel that we are coming to destroy their religion. We are not going to destroy anybody. We are going to preach Christ. People are going to be saved. Say amen. So we have to pray for protection. We have to fast and pray. The Bible says that some of these things can only go by prayer and fasting. The greatest resource we have had in our crusades is towards the north. Bole, Bole, Gatanga, Wale, Wale, Tumu. These are the places that we have seen the power of God most. Yes. Anybody who has traveled there will know that anytime we go to the north, you see God in action. But we are not going to take it for granted. We have to fast and pray. You don't have money. You don't have anything. But, Charlie, you can use your fasting and your prayers to join this chariot. Another way to join this chariot is to appear here when we launch out because we are going to pack a lot of food, a lot of clothing, a lot of things. We are going to load them into the trucks so they'll be, a, they'll be sorting out. My friend, Pastor Wale, called me last week and said, Reverend, I am sending you 20 footer container of clothes for the, for the Tamale Crusade and the Day of Help. <laughs> Our friend, Pastor Fred, called us what did he say? He said, 
my container is ready i am shipping it for the day of help and for the tamale crusade say amen oh are you clapping or not clapping for these people our friend uh in uh Hottingwood, i went to his church last month and i went and preached when he when i was going to be he said i should come and talk about the compassion ministry i said hey you are entering my territory because when you talk about compassion ministry god is giving it up so i went and preached when i finished he said reverend we are coming with clothing with money to come and support the work of god so when these clothes in containers arrive here we need to sort them out the ones for children the ones for male, ones for female, and all that. Rebag them all, label them, and then load them in the trucks before they move. And that is your joining the truck or joining the, 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 the chariot. You come here, spend the whole day with your jeans and t shirt, with your heart. We play music for you, we buy a cake for you in the afternoon. Then you are sorting this out, sorting out from morning till evening. Say amen. Most of the clothing that people will bring here, we have to sort them out. You see, we don't want to take torn things and spoil things to the people. We don't want to do that at all. Want to, even though they will collect everything, we don't want to do that. So we sort them out. That's another way to join. So by fasting, by sending, by giving. So that when the name of the Lord is glorified in Tamale, all of us are rewarded equally. The people who went, the people who sorted out. That means that by all means, everybody here under the sound of my voice must join this chariot. If, you, if after I have finished preaching and I've said all that and you don't join this chariot, then you are somewhere. Bah, then you, I don't know where you came from and what you are made of. Say, I hear you, Pastor. So this morning, I'm declaring by the mercies of God and by the authority invested in me as the, the angel of this house to declare the great Tamale crusade and the day of help duly launched in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Give the Lord a mighty hand, somebody. Shake five people, tell them, Join this chariot. 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 My worship team, I want you to come up stage. Join this chariot. Join this chariot. And beloved, we have printed some envelopes for you. And on the envelope, on the envelope, you see the tamale for Christ and then the day of help. My friend, our friend, Bishop Heward Mills, has imported 1,000 wheelchairs and they are already in the country for the day of help. Wherever he will be, he said, I will be joining you in Tamale for the day of help. We will do our crusade, but the Friday is the day of help. Those of you who wrote your names to go to Independence Square, the location has changed now. The location has changed. If you still want to go, if you still want to go, you have to rewrite your name again and buy your bus pass. Bus, you see, the bus, you see, transport from here to Tamale is about 200 cities per person. We are taking about 10 buses. It's not a small bill. The hotel where we are going to stay, the guest house, we are going to stay, the team members are going to stay in the get fund house. Guest house, guest, get fund hostel. We're going to see them. Pastor Stanley has traveled to Tamale about three times already. Because, because I have to give you proper information. We've studied our way we are going to stay and everything. He's been there three times already. Our crusade director, uh, what's his name? Elisha, is going with about 60, 60 people next week to stay there till we arrive in November. So I've told him that all the love making you want to make to have, do it now. 
kiss her now, make love to her, have sex with her, do everything. Because for the next weeks, you will see your wife again. For the next three months, you will see your wife. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Love her, kiss her, make love, do everything. Once a while. No, 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 no. <laughs> Or uh, once a while you visit him. Okay, once a while I'll put you in a plane. So you go and see him one day and come back. Say amen. We thank God for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Apia and his wife. Philo and the husband. Philo and her husband. The, the couple have been supporting us for the past 30 years. They have given us 10 trucks. 10 40 footer articulator tipper trucks. To carry our items. Oh, are you clapping or you're not clapping? Ten. Forty footer. Articulator. Tracks. Because the clothing and the things that are coming are a lot. We are carrying. We want to take at least 10,000 mattresses. There is a lady here in this church who has volunteered 1,000 mattresses for the note. Give it up for her. There is a brother here, he's called Felix. He's in protocol. Every time we are traveling, he releases two of his trucks to take our things. So when we add his trucks to the, that makes it 12 trucks. Somebody said, why do you need so many trucks? You come on, on board and see why we need the trucks. The platforms, lightings, clothing, food, medicine, we are writing to the military people to airlift 55 of our doctors from Friday morning and bring them back Friday night. Now, the day of help, there will be three buses here. For those of you who want to go to Tamale, I said the Independence Square one is already cancelled. Now, if you want to come to Tamale, a bus will leave here. Three buses will leave here. On Thursday at dawn, you arrive, you arrive in the evening, and then we'll give you a place to sleep, give you food to eat. Then on Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you'll be helping, 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 helping. We are receiving help from NATO. We need a lot of it is the biggest operation in the history of CEM. And I have prayed to the Lord send help say amen it's, as you can see at the corner of the poster we have put it there it's 30 years of anniversary so this is our 30th anniversary then after that we'll take a break for two years recuperate clear all our bills and everything and we start again a new phase of our ministry so uh, these are the envelopes that I'm going to give to everybody everybody's going to have an envelope you can bring it now bring it next week we are using the whole month of september to collect this envelope we are using the whole month of september to collect this envelope but i'm giving 100 envelopes to either pastor mike uh, to pastor mike and pastor stanley pastor mike will be up there pastor stanley will be here those of you who feel led that you want to give a thousand Ghana cities towards a tamale crusade and they will help you come and collect an envelope from either Pastor Mike who will be up there or Pastor Stanley will be here. I will do that one first and then now we shall go to uh, other uh, figures. And take note, you have the whole of September to give. Somebody said, what happened to the previous one that I gave? Is there. We are already spending money and doing things. Is there. The one you gave is there. My friend uh, 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 who gave this, uh, who gave us 15,000 euro. We are spending it already. We are, we are paying for things ahead. So please, 100 is with Pastor Stanley. Okay, we are saying that we need somebody to connect us to Nadmo because we need their help there. Some of the villagers, they say when they come to Tamale, they are not going back. They want to stay on the grounds. They want to stay on the grounds till the crusade and everything is over. We shall do free medicals on the last day. For people preaching healing pastor matthew 
has invited us on the 28th of October to KICC for us to have what they call mission night. In the mission night, we are believing God to raise not less than 100,000 pounds for the mission. Is it possible? It's not possible. We need a lot of money. And it's coming with 55 people for, for, the, for the mission. So those of you who want to give a thousand Ghana cities, I want you to get up and come. Those of you up there, you don't like coming. That's what I've said Pastor Mike there. And then there's a third. Palasha is a third. So come and take an envelope. 100 people must take for the thousand. Sing my song. No one knows, please. From the rising of the sun till it's going down, your love amazes me. Your mercy is ever new. Let's One say. thousand Ghana cities. From the rising of the sun for till it's for going heart. down, your love amazes me. Your mercy is ever new. From the of the sun from the rising of the sun till it's going down your love amazes me we believe you've been blessed by the sermon for inquiries please call plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five or send an email to info at godswordforus.com info at godswordforus.com